Yo, what's going on guys? We're smurfing in Grandmaster Elo right now and I want to show you a super spicy Evelyn jungle route that you can do to avoid getting invaded and to avoid awkward encounters with enemy jungler. In this case, it's a Lilia. Lilia's most common jungle routes involve stealing the enemy's raptor camp or a simple full clear or a five camp clear. In higher elo, it's very common for Lilia against full clear junglers to show up and uh, steal your raptors, normally do her red wraps into her wolves, zoom over to your wraps, she's super fast, she'll take them and uh, then kill your mid laner. So to avoid that, I decided I I would just start on my raptors both top laners are bruisers something you should know about bruiser players is they don't really care if they die they play bruiser because they want to carry so if you can try to path towards bruisers you can usually win the game off of that so it's a fjord she doesn't really have any escapes especially with a three camp clear on the same side since obviously the three camps on the same side are the closest together we can get up there before she's level three easily and perhaps before she's level two if the wave isn't hit too much. So I'm just gonna do my wraps into red buff, into golems, and it's actually really important that you get a ward down on your opposite side jungle. In this game, I asked my team to, but they actually didn't, which sucks. I ended up just warding my red side. I didn't want to get cheesed by a Lilia and Fiora. Lilia and Fiora could actually wreck me in Wukong level one, so I was just trying to avoid a potential cheese. On the bright side, there aren't really any good Lilia routes for vertical jungle this early in the game, since she will lose all of her movement speed stacks, and I have a stronger bot lane anyways with the Draven Pike in the early game. It's actually quite risky for her to run that type of pathing. But ideally, you should get a ward down on your opposite side jungle, so if they do decide to vertical jungle you, then you can push into their jungle. We know Lilia just finished up her raptors. Even if she comes straight top, I can gank Fior before she can get here since I'm on my golems, and most likely she's going to just do a full clear at this point. I'm going to run up behind Fior with my sweeper on. I know there's no ward since I had sweeper on. I, I do end up using my flash because I don't want this engagement to prolong for too long because we're fighting on Fiora's minions. Plus, once again, Lilia could have potentially passed straight in the top lane after Raptors. I saw the Fiora teleport. If it was lower elo, I would have stayed, but in high elo, I think Lilia was actually there. Otherwise, that Fiora teleport would have been a suicide since she's only level two. I have red buff, I'm level three, etc. I actually got a really good back. So one of the nice things about running a three camp route into gank on Evelyn is you'll have exactly 350 gold so when you back you can pick up a dark seal which is super super nice for fighting on scuttle crabs at 315 and just strong in general on evelyn for scaling so in this case i could also get an amp tome and a pink ward since i got kill gold i pick up the scuttle crab i see lilia's top side i decide not to clear my jungle for a lot of you players who aren't as comfortable you should probably just clear your jungle at this point until level six but in this elo, you actually can't do that. You'll lose the game because your teammates will die to ganks like how Wukong just died to the Lilia gank because he took too long to reset. So instead, I'm going to run down to Lilia's golems. They'll be respawning soon. If this gank didn't pan out, I could have just taken her golems and raptors. But the gank does pan out. I W, chase it down, time it perfectly, QE. My E speed up helps me get out of the turret range. And now I'm going to stay to help them push. It's a full HP wave in a cannon way that that it's gonna take them forever to shove it as you see Ziggs and uh, Yumi have already spawned in so they'll get back to wave before my teammates so they'll have a lot more prio it's good to help your teammates shove the wave especially when your teammates need to back because they have no HP no mana after that gank I can't push back into Lilia's jungle because they'll see me going over there so instead I'll just clear into my own jungle and I did leave a pink ward down deep in her jungle. This does multiple things. First of all, they don't check that bush very often, so it'll probably be there the whole game. Secondly, if she does push in for her golems after she killed Wukong, I would have seen her. So I actually pinged my Wukong that she was going to camp top. And uh, Wukong didn't really listen, but Wukong is just a super nasty champion like uh, bruisers are right now and he actually kind of pops off kills the fjord so now i'm just farming it up i could push into lilia's jungle at this point and take her raptors and golems which is what i actually do if you were not really paying attention you're on youtube watching a twitch streamer then you probably would have just taken your raptors and golems at this point and you would have missed out on a lot so now i can uh deny her a lot of golden xp plus she was in my jungle taking my stuff if you're paying attention to when i press tab uh, she actually hasn't backed yet, so that means she probably at least took my raptors, if not my golems as well. I'm going to do my best to try to leave one raptor, that way the camp doesn't respawn, and she'll miss out on a bunch of golden XP. That way, every time you kill a camp, it respawns in at a higher level. I saw her top a little less than 20 seconds ago, so I know she can't get down to her golems in time, so even if she rushes straight down here out of that gank, 
I'll easily have enough time to gank and uh, have about a 10 second window before she can even be there. I go ahead and I don't leave the original medium golem because I'm in a hurry and also want to try to hit level six as soon as possible. So we do the gank, we get the kill. And you may say, well, you left one small raptor, but yeah, one small raptor is worth a lot less golden XP than, le than leaving pretty much all the golems on uh, Evelyn. If you leave the original medium golem, uh, the whole camp basically dies and the only thing left is the original medium golem. But the problem is since Evelyn's AOE, it's really hard to take all of the all of the medium golems without taking the original one. I just didn't want to deal with that. I'm trying to hit level six as soon as possible. Plus we got out some gank pressure that my pink ward sees the Lilia. We ping it out and uh, we're just going to keep trying to snowball this game. For those of you who don't know, in high elo, Lilia actually counters Evelyn. In general, Evelyn counters Lilia. But with the tempo of high elo and all of Lilia's different jungle route options, it's actually definitely, I'd say at least 60-40 uh, in favor of Lilia. Because of her level 6 is just so much bigger than yours as Evelyn. Lilia can hit multiple people and Lilia is, is actual CC and insane damage. Gonna come up behind the Fjord before she's level 6. We've put her behind. Might as well camp her at this point since we have R. I walk in. I queue the minion because I just wanted to hit her with the normal queue so I can't miss it. If you're ever just trying to land charm, it's actually easier to land it with your sub subsequent queues rather than the initial one. So I help Wukong chop the wave, get golden XP off that. We're going to dump it in. Fiora's going to miss out on all of that. If her dead body's there while the minions are dying to turret, she'll soak the XP. But since she spawned in before the minions crashed, she actually missed out on all of that, which is really, really bad. So she's actually still level 5. Otherwise, she would have gotten level 6 off of that wave crashing. So really unlucky for her. I thought he was like stream sniping someone because Akali literally had the wave frozen on him and he's just standing there like AFK. So we all in him, we kill him, we take him out and I'm trying to get the heck out of here because I saw Lilia was in the area. She's probably pathing bot lane right there so I actually should have pinged that out for my bot lane because she, I just saw her on her red buff with my uh, pink ward. Luckily with the lead we got our bot lane, they took care of the Lilia and to be fair I did ping her when she was on her red buff since I saw her but I could have pinged the pathing some more because she was likely to either go mid lane or to her golems next. Now that their jungler's dead, their mid laner's dead, even though I don't have full jungle item on Evelyn, I can solo dragon. Preferably though on Evelyn, you don't want to really solo dragons until you have full jungle item because you get super low on HP. And if anybody shows up, they can kill you, even if it's a Janna. So in general, you want to avoid doing this unless you're full jungle item or unless everyone on their team is dead in base. Even though I have heaps of gold, I don't want to back because my ultimate literally just came up. So it'd be better to use my ult and then back. I know Lilia's probably in the area, but we can kill them 2v2 or we could just kill Fiora before she gets here. I ult to get to the Fiora. Uh, we kill her, but then Lilia ours. I was kind of annoyed Wukong didn't block off the Lilia. I don't think he was paying attention. And uh, unfortunately, Lilia did kill me there, but... Uh, I think it could have gone better. I actually am duo with the Wukong, but we're not using comms because I don't like using comms when I play with duos. It makes it harder to play, but he does pick up the kill. I think ultimately I was going to die there since Wukong didn't have any more ults, but um, yeah, it's just unfortunate. You guys see the power of the Lilia are there. The, just the amount of CC it provides. It's like a two or three seconds slow with a two or three seconds sleep on it. Um, it's just super, super big. You can't get away from it and it's AOE to where she hits multiple people with an ability within like a three second window in general, then it's, you're just fucked. I actually did go for Majaya's only on a five stack dark seal in general. Don't do that guys, especially if you die a lot on Evelyn per game, it's really, really bad to do that. And this game, since I have a huge lead, it's worth, if you have a big lead and your team has a lead, it's really, really good. Cause you're not likely to die if you know how to position. So what I'm going to do now is just go bot lane. It's one of my strongest lanes since they're both really fed. Even if like the enemy mid and jungle comes, it won't matter. I can just sit bot and wait for it. Ziggs is probably typing something right now. So Pike goes in for a hook. Unfortunately, he hard whiffs it. He thought Ziggs would react, but Ziggs is just in his own little world. My R's on a cooldown, but I still have that pink word there in Lilia's jungle. So I have really good vision on knowing if she's here or not. I land the charm. Amazing. Well played by the Pike. Well played by Chad Draven. If you guys don't know, Chad Draven's actually, uh, he's a streamer. He's a hes a ginger. He plays a lot of Draven. Yeah, we get the turret. We're going to push this in. And at this point, since there's no dragon, I'm not going to go for dragon, obviously. I could run all the way to Herald. It's not optimal. 
I was actually just trying to path around the Lily to, stop, stop, to set something up with the Akali, but I couldn't really get around her. So I just had to drop charm and run away. Optimally, I, I should have gone to Herald there, path through mid lane. And when your R's up, you got to make value of it. Drop the charm on Yasuo, stay on top of him, land it, hit him with a fat R. And we know he doesn't have flash, so he really had no way to get away. I decided not to go for Herald since I didn't have R. I didn't want Lily to walk in on me. Sure enough, she walks in on me over here. Like you see once again, she nearly one shot me. She's not even really fed. She's just such a nasty champion. If you're in low elo, I wouldn't recommend Lilia because she's kind of slow paced initially, or at least slower paced than you should run in low elo. Like optimally, she's too too slow for low elo, but in high elo, like you see there with her R's, imagine if she was as fed as I was, I would have died and she would have gotten away because she's super fast. I actually didn't go in for the charm at all. A lot of times against Fiora, like nine out of 10 times, you're not gonna go for the full charm proc because she'll just parry it. So what you wanna do is just land your charm super early. That way you land your damage and you also land the slow from the charm because if you try to land full charm, she's gonna parry it every time, or at least she should. But they rarely, if ever, expect uh, you to proc it early. In fact, I've only had a handful of Fiora's ever do that. And I've played against hundreds of Fiora's. And in high elo, I've played against several high ones and they never expect it. Now, if you proc it every single time early, then they might start parrying it, but even then, it's not optimal for them to do that because they think you have your R. So if they do block your uh, your charm slow, your initial Q or whatever, you're still sitting on your R. So it's really not in Fiora's best interest to parry early because God forbid you are trying to full land your your uh, charm then she just parried early and uh you're gonna smack that you're gonna smack her with your arm she's a goner and you may say well what if she just reacts to my q in midair well you can throw out your q to where it doesn't hit her you throw out your q where it's near her but like it's off course and uh that works too you can bait her out that way as well like if she's really good like if she's basically scripting she won't parry but yeah just that's my two cents on fiora in general just hit her with your slow Smack her with a full Q, E. Hold on to your R until she parries. You don't want to R if her parries up, typically. So you may have to double tap it, go back in a few times. And that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little commentary guide for Evelyn and higher ELO. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out the second YouTube channel and live stream if you guys want to catch me live. It's Twitch TV slash Kingsticks. I'll have links down in the description and pinned comment below, so check it out. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.